post tribulation trinitarian and oneness na kasi we we are we belong to that and we don't believe in post tribulation right? i'm not saying all of them ay, 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 the majority okay. majority kasi i've been you know it didn't even start with the pentecostals methodist yeah yeah ang methodism transferred to pentecostalism eh. so methodism meron na silang post trib si elisorian post tribian methodist ang background niya Iglesia ni Manalo, uh, wala silang rapture eh. I, actually, I was asked uh, with that question before. And, uh, wala naman ako wala naman ako sa uh, post, pre, post, mid, post, anything. Basta I believe the Lord will come, but I must prepare. So yun lang. Eh, kung, kung dumating ng pre, di okay. Kung, mat, kung ano na, nasa mid pre, di okay. Kung dumating ng post, okay, at least I am prepared for the coming of the Lord. So yun ang aking pinagahan it depends on the timeline. If we live in the Philadelphia church age, may uncertainty. Alam mo, yung pinaggalingan ng Sabadista si James Ellen White. White. Ellen White. Wala pang Ellen, James Wala White. Wala pang Ellen, yung masawa. Ano, meron silang revival ng coming, no, tawag na mm-hmm. Adventism. Yeah, yeah. So, they're expecting the soon coming. Actually, it's premature. So, gumawa na lang silang doctrine to, hindi si James White, siguro yung later yung ibang tao na para ano kay James parang aminado siya disappointed siya. Yeah. So it's like this. Kung hindi ka pa sure, nasa pwedeng if you live in a time na kung saan hindi pa siya uh, radically revealed or ano pakalahatan. It's all right. Pero it's like this. Yung aakyat sa rapture will not be in darkness sabi sa Second Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. That means say may mangyari sa bride um, talking about this like this ito yung buong mundo sa buong mundo, merong element ng tao marireveal sa kanila yung mystery not saying na sila lang maniligtas, pero dahil marireveal sa kanila yung mystery yan yung mystery surrounding sa second coming of the rapture, yung perfection message merong mangyaring teta, alam mo, aware na kasi restoration diba? after restoration, merong perfection. Yung perfection is yung mysteries na hindi pa na-reveal sa, kahit sa mga apostles, i-reveal lang sa end time. So, only the end time bride will know. So, are you aware yung sa Malakay 456? Malakay 456. So, anyway, next time we'll topic. Ano yun? Uh, so, yung, uh, yung dito mo na sa men, uh, Old Testament saints, including John the Baptist. Nire-reveal na, hindi nire-reveal sa mga apostles yung perfection message na tinutukoy mo. Yung, ito halimbawa, yung Malakay 456. If you're familiar with that, he shall send Elijah, Malaka, um, and he shall send Elijah, <laughs> Okay. Turning the hearts of the Father. Okay. Uli na yan. Uh. Verse 5. Uh, we shall send Elijah before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So, the great is first coming. The great day of his first coming. The great day of salvation. We note kasi yung first coming kay John the Baptist. Uh, Luke 1, 17. He shall go in the spirit and power of Elijah. So, na-fulfill niya yung great. Pero when the, the Pharisees were asking John the Baptist, Are you Elijah? No, 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 hindi ako. Bakit niya sabi hindi? Hindi pa matatapos yung Malakay for 5, 6. It will be in the end time. There will be an Elijah in the last days na ikukumpleto niya yung revelation sa ano, sa uh, restoration. So, yun dread, yun ang dreadful day of the Lord. And dreadful day, that's tribulation period. So, take note, the angel cut the quotation in Malakai. If you cut that, yun lang na-fulfill. Hindi pa na-fulfill yun dreadful. So, if you aware the, if you're aware of Jesus Christ, the quote siya sa Isaiah, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach deliverance to the captives and to opening the prisons to our uh, eyes to the, to the blind again. Ikakat niya yan. If you go to Isaiah 61, 
Okay, so sabi niya, uh, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the liberty to the captives, to open the prisons that are, that are blind, and the day, to preach the liberty to the captives, and the day of vengeance of our God. Kinat ni Christ yung quotation na yan. Sa Luke 4, 18, 19, 20, kinat niya yan. Bakit niya kinat? Kasi sinabi niya, This day, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. Iso siya patay. So, it means been, pwedeng makat. There's a portion of prophecy na ito pa, pero yung iba hindi pa. So, ganun din conjunct with the conjunction end. Kanina, we were reading two resurrection, di ba? The first resurrection and the second resurrection. You would think dahil sa end, sabay sila. Pero magkahiwala eh, 1,000 years. Ganun din yung sa Malakay. Ganun din sa Isaiah 61. May hiwala eh. So, yung mystery is this. Let me add. Sa first coming, ng Elijah, he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. From father to children, that is, from the, the Pharisees, Sadducees, to the fishermen, to the prostitutes, to the tax collectors. They will be the one who will first receive the gospel. Ito, hahabol na lang. Pakibasa nga, Acts 6-7. Acts Matthew 27, 51, 52, may mga nag-resurrect nung uh, nag-resurrect si Jesus Christ and then may mga lumabas diba? may nagsasabi kasi na uh, this person is prophetic or futuristic at parang gano'n you read carefully, after his resurrection na gano'n, yeah. it's past tense okay, the veil of the red the temple was red, yeah, there was earthquake red, yeah. so hindi lang, it's a past tense it's not prophetic because uh, this event was uh, mentioned in the other room. Kung baga yun lang siya. Lang. Hindi, okay. ganito. Kahit merong ibang event binasa natin kanina, na yung he led captivity captive. Meron yun. Tapos may parang term sa Bible eh, first born from the dead. He won't be called first if he's the only one. He was called first kasi may kasama siya. May second. Hindi pwede mauna yung ibang Old Testament saints ma-resurrect in power and glory ah kaysa sa kanya. So, yun, yung mga ano, supporting verses. Kaya balik na natin na. Okay. Yung Acts 6, 7. Acts 6, 7. Okay, ba? And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples were multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. So, the priests sumunod sa faith ng mga fishermen, okay. mga tax collectors, kaya yan. So the apostles then were children. So, sa Malakay 4, 5, 6, B. Teka, bookmark mo lang yan. Let's open Malakay 4, 5, 6. Para lang makita natin malina. Share kayo. Digit mo yung Bible. Malakay 4, 5, 6. Malakay 4, 5, 6. Malakay 4, 5, 6. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Okay. Okay, stop mo na. Brother, ano pa kayo? Ezekiel, pakibasa. Share mo sa kanya. Pakita mo kay Brother Ezekiel. In verse 6, yan. Yeah. Sige. And, eh, tuloy, tuloy. And, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest our father be May conjunction na naman to. Heart of the fathers to the children. And, heart of the children to the fathers. So, the heart of the fathers to the children, yan yung binasa natin sa Acts 6-7. The spiritual fathers of their day follow the children of light. Y- yung mga mababa sa lipunan, yun ang sinunod nila. Yung dapat tinuturoan nila, sila pa sumunod sa pananampalatayan. Kasi, yan yung first coming, yan yung first ministry ng Elijah which is John the Baptist, fulfilled by John the Baptist. So, yung what is not hard? That's the message, that's revival, that's restoration. Naging apostate sila, naging ano sila. So, punta tayo sa future. Sa second part, yun malakay for 5, 6, second part. Baliktad na. Tignan nyo mabuti ha, tignan nyo mabuti yung nakasulat. Children to the fathers, nakasulat kayo, tama? Children to their fathers. 
Yan may nakasulat ba yung ejekel? Yung children to their father, yan yung mga children ng apostol.